Okay, hi guys, it's Allison here and... Hello. <laughs> and uh, so today we wanted to hop on. So every single weekend we're going to be doing um, our calls um, with the group just to check in with you guys, answer your questions. We've gotten some pretty good questions throughout the group, either privately or in the group. So we wanted to use this as an opportunity to check in with you guys, answer your questions in a little bit more detail, um, and just to give you guys information. And, and you guys are always welcome to join these calls. Um, so I will make sure to send out an email invitation to you guys um, with the link so that way you can join. Um, the, the calls are held on Zoom. Um, so it's an app that you can either use on your phone. So JJ is calling in from her phone, or you can be on your computer. Um, you just click the link, and I'll take you through the process. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, and it's just I found our best way to really communicate with each other. Um, but before we get started, we wanted just to give a little shout out to a couple of people in the group who've really been bringing it with the check-ins. Um, so we have uh, Kalina or Kai, right? Is that? Yeah. It's Kalina. I, I'm used to calling her Kai, so whatever you want to be called, Kalina. <laughs> <laughs> or Kai. Um, <laughs> we wanted to shout you out. Same thing with Claudia, um, Celeste, and Seda. Um, you guys have all been awesome. You've been checking in daily with your workouts and your Shakeology. Um, and that doesn't mean that for those of you who aren't checking in that you're not putting in the work, but we just thought it was really cool to shout those four out for being pretty consistent. Um, with it. Um, and with that being said, you know, now it's the weekend. Um, so definitely things are a little bit different on the weekends. Like it's 1040 and I still haven't had my shake yet. Um, where I'm typically used to drinking mine at like 5 a.m. I don't know about you, JJ, but. <laughs> yeah, I need a, I'm probably going to drink mine right after this. Yeah. So the weekends are a little bit different. So, you know, this is a good time for you to kind of re reassess, refocus, you know, um, and then for some people, I don't know, JJ, like for you, what are your biggest challenges on the weekends? Um, so I'm actually, I have a post scheduled for around like 1 p.m. today to just give you everyone a few tips on like how to stay consistent over the weekend. And I personally used to struggle with meals out. Um, I would eat way, way too many meals out. And one, that costs a lot of money. And two, you're usually adding a lot more salt, sugar, and fat to those when you eat out at a restaurant. So now I try to only do one, maybe two meals out a weekend and try to cook most of my meals at home. So that's one thing to think of. Um, if you need like a, a date with your significant other, then sure, go for that one meal, but try not to eat every meal out. Yeah, that's a really good advice because I feel that for me, I used to be so much about like, oh, so we, like if I'm doing my job like Monday through Friday, like the weekends I can do whatever. And then I hit my thirties and it was like, you can't do that anymore. Um, <laughs> because your body's like, no. Um, so I'm kind of like you, like this year, I think in particular, I really started to focus more so on still using the weekends as almost an opportunity to like, because I have more time to really cook like fun meals and like where like my meals aren't all about like speed and quickness and like agility, but it's like yeah. take some time to really create a really nice comforting meal. So it's like, I mean, or even something as simple as throwing food in the crock pot in the morning before I leave. So when I come home, um, I have a really tasty meal that I can come home to and I don't have to worry about eating out or things like that. Um, and then also too, like just bringing snacks with me Saturdays I teach and I'm running around and, um, I've also gotten better about keeping healthy snacks with me. So, um, you know, the weekends can be a challenge, but they can also be a really good opportunity to, you know, just be a little bit more mindful and, and things like that. So I think really good tips. And if you guys have more questions or more feedback about the weekends, just, you know, what to do, you can comment in the group or you can comment below this video because we'll be sharing the, the link and the apps or the, the tracker app soon. Um, so yeah, so another thing about Saturdays, this is a great time to um, take your, you know, progress photos, weigh yourself, take measurements. Um, you've, you've worked hard for the week, so this is a good time to kind of recap it. I like to do Saturday mornings. Sorry, there's something on my screen. I like to do Saturday mornings because it's like before the day starts and um, I'm kind of running all over the place just to kind of do a quick check-in with myself to see what my progress is. Um, and with all that being said, I think it's definitely, um, you know, I like to, one of our, in our February challenge, um, one of our challengers, Monique, 
she made a good point. She said, I just really want to focus on like taking it week by week. Um, when I focus on like the whole challenge in general, I get really overwhelmed and I get like anxious about like, can I do it? Can I check in every day? Can I do my workout every day? And she was doing insanity. And we got to the point where I was like, let's take it week by week. You know, so if your goal is five times a week doing your insanity workout, then that's perfectly fine. Focus it like that way. And it really worked for her. Um, and she was able to complete a full month of insanity, which she hasn't really um, hadn't been able to do. So it was really exciting for her. So use the weekends to kind of check in with yourself. And, and as you're doing it, think about like what you did well, like what worked well for you this week. I know for me, um, some things that worked really well for me was that I felt that my meal prep was kind of getting boring and I was like kind of stuck in a little rut. So I used the weekend last weekend to really think about some cool recipes that I wanted to try. And I made, um, what did I make? I made sh a shrimp, a shrimp chili oh. shrimp bowls with, uh, I'm like, what did I make? <laughs> it was so oh, good. It was looked good too. Yeah. And then I had the leftover mango salsa. I'm like, what can I do? So I like, walked to um, the, the market and got a uh, pork shoulder and made some tacos with that. And it was also super delicious. So it's like, okay, like clean eating doesn't have to be boring. I have to remember, I have to remind myself of that. So that was a big thing that I wanted to in integrate this week. So that way I don't stay bored with my food. JJ, what are some things for you like this week that you changed or things that you kind of changed from last weekend to this week? Um, well, I found that um, so I work at a desk for eight hours and I found that when I eat a lot of like carbs during the, the midday, I'm like really tired, like after lunch. So I decided to do more salads throughout my lunches during the week, just because they still fill me up and I'm weird and I like salads. So that's something I was looking forward to. And it's something really easy for me the night before to take whatever I cooked for dinner and throw it in with like some chopped up romaine or spinach and whatever veggies I might have in the fridge. And so the one thing I really loved is I has made those crock pot chicken tacos mm -hmm. and they use it to throw in with salad. And I used like leftover sweet potato and some black beans. And I made this uh, avocado cilantro lime. Like it wasn't really a guac. It was more thinner than a guac. So it was kind of like the dressing that I used. And oh, it was nice. like surprisingly like the best lunch I had. So there's things like that. You don't always have to like, you know, stress it that it's got to be perfect. You know, yeah. some things just fall together. Like you said, you had leftover mango salsa and you used pork shoulder and it was awesome. So that's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, as you can see, it's like, even, you know, as us as being coaches, we definitely have our own challenges as well. And the, the key is not to fall back on our old habits, but our key, the key is to think about new, exciting ways. And, you know, JJ and I will make sure that we're sharing whatever we get with you or whatever we have with you guys. So that way you can not either avoid that pitfall or have a solution. Um, so now we wanted to shift gears a little bit and talk a little bit more on, uh, shake about Shakeology and a little bit about, you know, the importance of it and the, the challenge and why it's really, um, important. Um, JJ, I, why don't you go and kick off and just talk a little bit about Shakeology, um, you know, why it's important for the group. And then we can kind of talk on, uh, some of the questions that we got from Kai about Shakeology and things like that. Yeah. So Shakeology is good because it's just really well-rounded. Like, you know, sometimes you get shakes that are just protein shakes and they're really high in protein. This has a bunch of nutrients, a bunch of superfoods. Like I was watching something where they brought up Moringa and how it's like really good for you. And then I like looked at my Shakeology and it's in there. So there's just things like that. And I was like totally surprised. I was like, I told my boyfriend, I was like, look, there's Moringa in this. Like, awesome. I don't have to go to the store and buy like just moringa powder it's already in shakeology it's got prebiotics and probiotics which helps with digestion keep your gut healthy and then there's digestive enzymes and it's got amino acids it's it's got everything you need so it's like it's not just protein it's a full meal replacement so you can use it for breakfast which that's what i do with it um if you weren't able to get it in for breakfast you can make dessert out of it like throw in some frozen bananas with some, a scoop of powder and then blend it with some like almond milk. And you've probably got like a good little banana chocolatey smoothie or whatever flavor you have. So there's many ways to use it, but 
I've gotten the best results from it when I drink it every day. So, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what people don't realize is they don't realize how much good stuff really is in Shakeology. I don't think they realize that, like you said, it's more than just a protein shake and it's has so many good things like probiotics, prebiotics, you know, that help with digestion, adaptogens that help your body just to kind of internalize things, the vitamins and minerals. I mean, I don't even take a multivitamin anymore because I found that Shakeology gives me the energy I need. It gives me the vitamins and the minerals. Um, and it still has a good source of protein. And I think the biggest thing is like, I think people sometimes forget that it truly is a meal replacement. So like, really look at it as one of your meals. And it's great because then you don't have to worry about one meal a day is taken care of and it's crazy healthy. Um, so I think that's something that's really important. And that's why I find that the challengers that drink Shakeology, along with doing their workouts and eating clean following the nutrition guide, see significant um, results, you know, over those who either do Shakeology every now and then during the challenge or don't do it at all, um, you know, or those that drink Shakeology and think because I'm drinking Shakeology, I can eat whatever I want. Um, that's not how it works either. It's not like a magic, like shake that like, you know, will completely like cancel out everything bad that you do, but it's yeah. a great addition to doing your best with your nutrition. Um, and I know that Kai had asked a little bit about, you know, is it okay to drink two shakes a day or should you stick with one? Um, so in my opinion, I found that I, I try to do my shakes for me just because I'm up at like five o'clock in the morning. Um, I do my shakes really early as I go to the gym because, um, I don't really feel like chewing food that early in the morning. Like I don't even speak that early in the morning. So like chewing's also out. Um, but what I do if I have like a crazy long day or I'm like running around or I get home late and I didn't meal prep, then I may do a second shake for the day. Um, the thing is with, you want to be careful with doing um, multiple shakes because the calorie count is a little bit low. So you just want to be careful that you're not just like supplementing all of your meals with Shakeology because then you're not getting enough calories. Um, if you're working out, if you're being active, um, then you want to be really careful that you're not um, depriving your body of, of nutrition because your body needs it to move and to, to do its basic functions. And if you take that away, the body freaks out. So, you know, I've done Shakeology as a meal and then I'll do it like as like a snack, like an in-between snack. Um, I have some clients that will do a Shakeology for breakfast and they'll like put in the blender and do everything, you know, fancy in the mornings um, or for lunch. And then they'll do another one like with just almond milk and water um, either after their workout or on their way home from work because they tend to get hungry right in between. Um, they have like a two hour commute. So they'll do, like, put in a shaker cup. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but you just want to make sure that you have a balanced diet. No worries. I'll, I'll keep going, JJ. Don't worry about it. Um, that you still have like a balanced um, plan of action. But yeah, the, you can't go wrong with, you know, maybe one additional shake per day. But I would just say kind of keep focused on, um, you know, start with one and try to get your meals in order. But if you have a meal or a time of day that you're just like really struggling, um, then Shakeology can be that great um that great option because even my mom, a lot of times she'll do Shakeology for dinner um, as well because she's just like, doesn't like cooking or she got home late or, or just doesn't really feel like eating, but she knows that she should. So that's kind of a good way to think about it with Shakeology, but there's no harm in doing two shakes a day, but it also means that your Shakeology supply for the month goes by much quicker. Yeah. It makes me sad whenever I get to like the bottom of my canister, I'm like, Oh, I overdid it this month. So, so that's kind of one thing you want to think about with it. But um, yeah, Kai, I don't think there's really any big issues with that. Um, you also talked about, you also asked um, about, are there any additional ways to make Shakeology kind of even more amazing? Um, and there is one thing that uh, Shakeology does offer, um, and they're called Shakeology Boosts. And the Shakeology Boosts are um, they are different. Um, I'm actually going to pull it up and share my screen so you can see it. Um, there are three different boosts that they have that offer you additional, um, additional, um, way, additional customizations to your shake. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys really quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. Share my screen. Here we go. So they're called Shakeology Boosts and there's three different flavors. 
boosts, I guess. Um, the first one is focused energy. So this is one that I do. I don't do really well with caffeine. Like if I drink coffee, I'm a mess. Like my body just goes crazy nuts. <clears throat> so clean uh, caffeine works a little bit better for me. Um, and using from green tea and guarana actually is much better for me than getting it from coffee um, or like monster energy drinks that are awful. Hopefully no one's drinking those. Um, so boost, um, the focus energy is a really great one. I put like a half a scoop in mine if I have like a really long day or if I'm at home and I'm working on like a project or I just need to be really focused. Um, so basically it's boost your energy on days you need it without compromising your health. So it's a really good adjustment to um, like the, the energy drinks that are on the marketplace right now. You just put it in your shake. I don't taste it. And I drink my shakes very plain, like almond milk, water, and Shakeology. When I put that in there, I don't really taste any difference. Um, the next one is the Power Greens Boost. So this adds a next, an extra serving of um, green, like nutrient nutrient-dense veggies like kale and spinach. So a lot of things that we could think about in our diet and the standard American diet, which I always say is sad, um, it's really devoid of um, super, super green phytonutrients um, in the diets. Um, and it's just because things are convenient and whatever. So, um, and it, what this does, what I really like about this one, so I also have this one as well, I typically do this one if I have like a weekend where I'm like kind of went a little crazy or when I go camping or something where I'm not necessarily eating as best as I would like to. Um, then I use the Power Boost or the Power Greens Boost because it has all these phytonutrients. It has, um, it's like, it says two thirds of a cup of dark leafy greens, a third of a cup of cucumbers, a third of a stalk of uh, celery. Plus the formula helps with the acid um, alkaline balance, which, um, if I, I've read a really great book, uh, it's not on my night saying I'd pull it up, but it's called Super Immunity. And the whole premise of the book talks about the lack of these phytonutrients that our bodies need and we don't get in the standard American diet. And it truly affects um, the alkaline uh, acid balance in our body. And that's where a lot of um, disease, um, inflammation, autoimmune, different things actually can breed in a body that's not properly balanced. So this is a great one if you don't get enough greens into your diet. Shakeology already has a bunch, but you can never do too many. Even when I do the 21 day fix, when I'm doing the meal plans, which I'm always in the meal plan, but if I'm ever hungry, I always will give myself more veggies. Um, if, if I'm still like, I'm still hungry, I don't feel bad about adding more greens. So you can never add too many greens to your body. And the last thing is digestive health. So this one is, um, if you're struggling with like regularity, um, constipation, um, bloat or anything like that with your digestive tract, um, this one works really well. I, um, I don't own it, but um, one of my coaches who came, um, she had it and I tried it um, because she was really struggling with digestion, even with drinking Shakeology and just couldn't figure it. And this really helped her um, because it has soluble and insoluble fiber. So it really, it's a step above the traditional fiber supplements that are on the marketplace. Um, and it can really just boost that as well. And again, it's like one little scoop and um, the scoops are like tiny. They're not even that big. So you can't really taste it at all. Um, I drink the vegan chocolate. Um, but this is just a, a good option for you guys to see um, some of the options. So if you are interested in that, just let either one of us know and we can make sure that we will post the information about the boost for you guys to purchase. Um, and then lastly, Kai asked about, um, well, then she also asked about um, some uh, like uh, cleanses or detox. So um, JJ, why don't you talk about your experience with the three-day refresh and I'll talk about mine with the ultimate reset. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I did the three day refresh in January. I did it like, during the first week of my, like my first challenge that I really committed to. And I think it was perfect because it came right after new year's Eve and Christmas and all that time that I was just not eating well at all. And I was just like, I just need to like re like refresh or just like totally start I don't know, at a point where it's like, I don't feel bloated and stuff like that. So I did three day refresh. It's three days of, I think it's three shakes a day. There's a fiber sweep, which helps with digestion. But then with this, it's not, you're just not drinking like a liquid diet. You get, I think it's like at least four meals a day that are like either small snacks where it's like apples and some peanut butter or like carrots and some hummus. 
And then your dinner is like a steamed veggie dish. And it's, it's mostly vegan food. I'm pretty sure it's all vegan food. Mm -hmm. Um, depends what type of shake you get. But, um, I loved it. I lost three pounds and I saw like, I took before and after pictures and you can see small differences. It's not something that's going to like make you lose a ton of weight. Um, because it's three days and you know, you want to be healthy over three days. You don't want to be completely depriving yourself. So that's what I liked is I never felt starving on it. I was never like, Oh my gosh, like I need to eat and break down and go eat something. I was like, I'm still eating real food. So I felt like, all right, I can do this for three days. Totally. And I loved it. And I would probably do it again. If like I was about to go on vacation and needed to like kind of lose a little bit of excess weight that I was having trouble with. Um, or just to like, kind of, if I was getting off track, maybe to just bring it back and like cure some cravings that I might be having. Like, that's what I really think it would be beneficial for. Totally. Awesome. And, you know, I'm very similar. I've done the three day refresh a few times and I absolutely love it. It's just so simple. It's so easy to follow. Um, And for those of you who want to kind of kick things up a notch even more, there's another option called the ultimate reset. This is a three week um, reset. I don't really call it a detox or a cleanse or I don't really know, but it's definitely 21 days of just really getting your body into like the optimal um, state health and balance. Um, I did it, about, the first time I did it was three years ago. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe if I just lose five pounds, because I was always wor- already working out. I was drinking my Shakeology. I was doing everything I thought okay. Um, and it wasn't until I did that program that I realized I ended up losing like 11 or 12 pounds. Um, my waist was just like so awesome um, because I didn't have the bloat. I didn't have the inflammation. Um, same thing, they give you some supplements that you take that really help with the process. And with the 21 day or the ultimate reset, what I found was that I, my energy was through the roof. I felt so good. I was sleeping better. My, I was thinking clearly. Um, I had all this crazy energy. I was like waking up, like ready for the day. Um, and it really just showed me like all of my cravings were gone by the time I finished. Um, you know, it just made me realize the importance of nutrition and how important it really is and how our bodies are really trying to do the best they can. But we mess things up when we start adding in foods that our body can't recognize and foods that cause inflammation. So um, that's another option as well. Um, I, maybe I'll post um, on Tuesday, I will post my video. I created a little video about it. So maybe I'll share about maybe on Tuesday, JJ, you can share your experience with the three day yeah. refresh, for like transformation Tuesday or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, pretty much, you know, as we go through this week, I'm um, starting up for on Monday. Um, since we've talked a little bit about Shakeology and nutrition, let's really make that our focus for the upcoming week of really, you know, making sure that we're drinking our Shakeology once a day. Um, for those of you who want the boost, we'll make sure that we can put some information about the boost in the group as well for you guys. Um, and then just really take some time to think about what you're eating. So with that, um, we would love to see your meals. So check in with your meals, check in with what you're eating, um, any cool recipes, anything that new that you've tried, you know, let us see what you're doing. I'll make sure to do the same. Um, this week, I'm actually on Monday through Friday, I'm going to be focusing on um, no added sugar uh, for the week, um, which I have a huge sweet tooth. So this is really great uh, challenge for me to kind of kick things up a notch and um, You know, so even within these bigger challenges, it's always great to take some time and have some intention for the week ahead. So I would say for each of you guys, choose your intention for the week when it comes to nutrition. Um, JJ, what's going to be your focus for the week with your nutrition? So I'm actually traveling Sunday and Monday. So one of my focus, that's because that's going to be kind of hard to meal prep when I'm gone and out of town. So my thing is today, I'm actually going to go to the store and get stuff that I can bring on my trip. That way it'll cut down the cost of eating out while I'm gone. And then then on Monday, hopefully I'm getting back in time. If I don't get back in time to meal prep, my intention is going to be getting in really healthy dinners at night that I can make the leftovers as my lunch for the next day. And of course, every day I'll be drinking my Shakeology. So yeah, that's one thing is like not letting two days of traveling get me off course for the rest of the week. Like no excuses. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. 
Awesome. Well, I like it. We both have some good intentions. So we definitely like to hear from you guys to see what your intention is for the week. So feel free to comment below too and let us know. Um, but this is pretty much it uh, for our weekly check-in. We try to keep them pretty short, sweet, and to the point. Um, but we will be back next week, same place on Zoom. Um, and we'll figure out if you want to do Saturday again or if you want to do Sunday. Um, Saturday works for me, but we can always reassess based, um, next week if we need to change. JJ, you'll probably be driving up to me um, yeah. next Saturday. So maybe we can do Sunday if that might yeah. be easier for people. Um, but yeah, so we will let you guys go. But thank you guys for watching the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And you know, just remember, we're going to focus this week on our nutrition. So create an intention for the week and uh, make sure you use this weekend to uh, get prepared. Um, go get your groceries, do your lists and take your measurements, your before or your progress photos and your progress weight. All right. Anything else, JJ? Nope. Have a good weekend. All right. Great. <laughs>